I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9. Let's focus on verses 23 and 24. This is what the Lord says. The wise must not boast in his wisdom. The mighty must not boast in his might. The rich must not boast in his riches. But the one who boasts should boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, showing faithful love, justice, and righteousness on the earth. For I delight in these things. This is the Lord's declaration. Today's message reminds me of Caleb in the book of Joshua. Remember, Caleb was about 80 years old, and yet he boasted, I'm as strong as I ever was. And I've heard preachers proclaim that living a clean and godly life is what kept Caleb physically fit. But the way I see it, Caleb's statement was not that as an old man he possessed the strength of a young man. Rather, uh, he was saying that his strength was in the promise of God. I think uh, Caleb probably needed Advil as much as the rest of us. Therefore, when he was young, Caleb did not rely upon his youthful might. And in his age, Caleb was not hindered by his aching joints. His strength had always been in the Lord. And this is precisely what the Lord is communicating to the southern kingdom of Judah in today's passage. It's also what Paul told the church in Corinth, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 26 through 31. Brothers, consider your calling. Not many are wise from a human perspective. <clears throat> not many are powerful, not many of noble birth. Instead, God has chosen the world's foolish things to shame the wise. Well, thanks a lot, Paul. <laughs> and God has chosen the world's weak things to shame the strong. God has chosen the world's insignificant and despised things, the things viewed as nothing, so that he might bring to nothing the things that are viewed as something, so that no one could boast in his presence. God, look how good I am. You've got to let me into your heaven. But from him you are in Messiah Jesus, who for us became wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption in order that, as it is written, the one who boasts must boast in the Lord. So our boast, the things that we're proud of, it's not in ourselves. Our boast is in the Lord. Consider these other verses, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. We're not saved by the good things we did, and God's like, man, i got to have this guy on my team. I'm going to draft him now. No, it is the works of the Lord which has saved us. For by grace you were saved, <clears throat> through faith. And it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one can boast. Today's passage tells us that God delights in showing His faithful love, His justice, His righteousness on the earth. But what does God not delight in? Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 11 and 12. Tell them as I live. The declaration of the Lord God, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that the wicked person should turn from his way and live. Repent, repent of your evil ways. Why will you die, O house of Israel? Now, son of man, say to your people, the righteousness of the righteous person will not save him on the day of his transgression. Neither will the wickedness of the wicked person cause him to stumble on the day when he turns from his wickedness. The righteous person won't be able to survive by his righteousness on the day that he sins. Never forget that God is just, and he will by no means clear the guilty. But if men will believe in what Jesus' death and resurrection and surrender, if they'll believe on that, and they will surrender to him as Lord, they will receive salvation. No man is so bad that he cannot have God's grace, and no one is so good that they don't need it. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we need your monthly support now more than ever. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is just tell people about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. 
And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com. 